There's always practical jokes. I think it's good. The guys now train with her on a regular basis, and I'm getting the blame for it, even though it wasn't me. What's up, Jess? You got a little problem there. Jess, what's up? <laughs> she always blames it on me. <laughs> Dan, can you not get it off? I'm sorry, I must have put it on too hard. Not that I put it on, but hey. Did you still feel the same amount of time? Oh, you just got, as your elbow hit in, you got, you got, you got broke by that, that's what pulls you back to go. Did you still feel the same amount of time? A few weeks reaction to um, Doha? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, it has, it has, to be honest, it's been a great week, a great performance, championship record, and third best by a woman ever. Um, a couple of little things that make you think, though, this, the loss of six weeks training. Um, what could have been? Could she have been the first woman over 5,000 points? Um, can she do it when she does the European indoors next year? Will she be in that kind of shape next year? So it's kind of like, is it an opportunity missed? But that's me. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just always looking for a little bit extra. Does that make sense? Yeah. And, and it, I think it might be. I think it might be. But it, every time she performs well, and she's doing it far too often, it makes my job that little bit harder because you've got to find somewhere else to go. I think when you're looking at the Olympics, I think if we can find consistently outdoors in the heptathlon another 150 points, then, you know, I, I, I think she's pretty unbeatable. I think if you score 6 9, I don't think there's many women in the world that can score 6 9. Not at the moment, but that's two to three years, so they can all improve. But, you know. We might be looking at somebody who's going to dominate in multi-events. We might not be. We, this might just be a flash in the pan. 2009-10, what great years. 2011, a bit boring. But, you know, this, you can't be complacent. The European Championships, all the girls are going to be there. It'll be world class again. Um, and then it's the World Championships. You're defending your title. It's a different kind of pressure. Um, and then you add on the fact that people are suggesting that she's the face of 2012. She's the face of British Athletics. And the pressures and the awkwardness that that brings. So, um, hey, she's well grounded though. She hasn't changed. I might though. <laughs> no, I was. I was definitely a lot. It was a different preparation to a championship, and it was a different feeling. Um, just because I'd, I was a little bit anxious, a little bit worried that I'd have problems with my foot, and you know, I had to. You know, I wasn't able to high jump. I did one high jump session between Glasgow and going out to Doha and things like that. So that kind of knocks your confidence a little bit. And I was a little bit unsure, you know, how it would pan out. But I knew I was in good shape and hadn't lost that much fitness. So I just had to go and do it. So and thankfully it worked out well. To be fair, I didn't dominate. <laughs>